Hi everyone, my name is Mike, call sign K8MRD. You are watching K8MRD Radio Stuff. Guys, it's no secret that I am a huge battery nerd and I just wanted to show the newest charger for lithium iron phosphate batteries from Gigaparts for their PO4 power line. And I just wanna take a look at it. It's a six amp charger, so I wanna see what we can get out of it. I've got a few batteries here. Little geek here, it's a little low on power. We've used about five and a half. Uh, amp hours of current out of it, so I want to plug this in see if in fact it does give us six amps of current And that's about it. I get questions all the time about charging lithium iron phosphate batteries And this is a nice and inexpensive option. It's only a little over $38 on Gigaparts website Which is about half the price of my other charger there so uh, very easy simple plug-and-play charger and in just a couple hours Hopefully we should be able to have a 12 amp hour battery charged lickety split so Let's take a look. Here's a quick look at the charger itself. You have the charging unit and it comes with two alligator clips. Now note that I have immediately cut the wire and installed power poles to make it a little more versatile. It does not come with power poles installed factory. And here is the power cable itself that is gonna connect right there. As far as size, not very big. Let's take a look at the Bofang scale. Looks like we are uh, just uh, about one and maybe a maybe a quarter bow fangs wide and just a touch under two bow fangs long and About one bow fang in thickness Now even though I put power poles on everything immediately It is a nice feature that we have these alligator clips these po4 batteries come with these uh, types of terminals and that will simply allow us to clip the alligator clips on the battery and go ahead and get it charged or you can make a wiring harness like I've done and charge it via power pole like such or charge other types of batteries that have power poles on them. Now let's go ahead and plug it in and we can see right off the bat, notice here we get these little LEDs that came on. Uh, I would assume to kind of just test it or let you know it's on. We've also got this red LED indicator to let us know the thing is powered on. And this bit right here is simply a guide to let you know what these things mean. So uh, if the first LED is lit, you're 20% charged, the second is 50%, the third is 80%, and the fourth is 100% charged. Now let's test the charging capabilities of the charger. Uh, you can see on my meter, I've used about 6.6 .6 amp hours out of the 10 amp hour battery that's inside of here. I'm gonna go ahead and when I flip this power on, this meter right here is the current. So that's gonna show us our current now I've cleared out the watt hours and I've cleared out the running time. As this starts charging, we're gonna see the amp hours uh, here and we're gonna see the run time here. And uh, we'll come back when this is charged and see how uh, long it's gonna take it. So let's flip this on. You can see it's already starting to charge immediately. And we're getting about 4.7 amp hours into the battery right now. So we'll let this go until it's charged and we'll come back we can also take note, if we don't have a meter like this, we do have these lights down here at the bottom indicating the first two lights are on, so uh, we're definitely at least 50% powered according to this, and these two are blinking. So once those are all full, hopefully this will show zero current going in. This should show about 14.6 uh, once we hit our peak. and. Uh, We'll see how long this is. So one minute has lapsed so far. So that was an interesting test. Took about an hour and 55 minutes to put about six amp hours into the battery. And now this is fully charged. So the next thing that I'm going to do, I've got this PO4 power, 12 amp hour battery that I've pretty much depleted. 12.1 volts, uh, maybe 14. I, I took about nine amp hours out of this today. Let's see if we can get a little more current. Being a more empty battery, uh, that might have something to play with it. So uh, we're gonna be using our PowerWorks watt meter here to see what uh, we can pull out of her. Plug this in real quick. And we can see we've got an empty battery here from the charger. We're pulling 4.85 amps out of the uh, charger so still not seeing that six amp capacity but uh let's let this run and we'll see how long this takes
Well, that completes the charging of this battery. Turns out it was a little more empty than I thought. We ended up putting uh, 11 and a half amp hours in the battery in just, uh, just about two and a half hours. So that equals about 2.6 amp hours of current on average going into the battery. So a little shy of the six amp uh, charge that this is uh, advertised as. As far as these indicator lights are concerned, I would say they're pretty uh, accurate. Right around the, right around about the eight amp hour time on the meter, this was showing a steady uh, light here and then this was just blinking. So that's pretty nice that that's a fairly decent gauge as to uh, the capacity of your battery. Most lithium iron phosphate batteries don't have a meter on top there. So that's uh, always nice to see there. And especially if you don't have a meter like this to uh, monitor where your voltage is at. I will leave a referral link in the description for 5% off all of the PO4 products from Gigaparts. So there we have it, the PO4 Power 6 amp charger, available exclusively at Gigaparts. Not quite getting all 6 amps of current out of it as advertised, but uh, to be honest, my more expensive high-tech charger that has a lot more programmable functions and charges all kinds of different chemistries of battery uh, and is advertised at 6 amps only gives about 4.5 amps as well. But for a charger uh, of this capacity for under $40, I like that it has the LED indicator to give you somewhat of an indication of the state of charge. That's something that other chargers in its class do not have, so certainly worth it. And to charge a 12 amp hour battery in uh, just about two and a half hours, that's pretty darn good. So, And if you're interested in picking one of these up or one of the PO4 batteries from Gigaparts, I will leave a link for 5% off in the description. So do follow that if you're into saving money. Other than that, until the next time, we'll see you again on another episode of k and Radio Stuff. 73, guys. Thank you! PO4 power! Can you feel it?